Hey, this is uh, Gary Morse. This is Leveraged Online. And uh, if you can see in the background, today is a two for five special for the maple breakfast sandwiches at Tim Hortons. That is, uh, that is not a subliminal message. I just happen to be sitting here uh, in downtown Grand Blanc, one of my um, uh, several spots where you'll find me. If you, if you can't find me, this is where you'll locate me. Uh, really excited. I've had some issues with... Uh, garage band so i'm trying something a little different today i'm going to be recording with quicktime player hopefully upload that right into youtube and then upload that as an audio into my podcast i'm not exactly sure what's going on with garage band uh if you're a garage band expert uh and you got a moment to lend me and lend an ear to me uh, i'd love to hear from you just email me at gary at grafted in dot io uh today i just want to talk really mondays i want to i want to utilize to, to uh talk about things that are going on, specifically uh, thought leaders that have impacted me over the past week. And uh, a lot of times, you know, we go through these seasons where we're listening to the same thought leader over a period of time and they they change us, even if it's uh, subconsciously we're unaware of how they've affected us. Even sometimes your mannerisms can reflect some of those leaders or the way that you speak can slow down or speed up. And I know that this has been true in my life. So today I just want to talk about uh, one leader that I've been listening to quite a bit lately. And I want to just share one principle that uh, I heard from him recently that I, I believe once applied will have a radical shift in the way that I, I, I do life and do business. Uh, so this leader is Dan Sullivan. And Dan Sullivan is a uh, is the, um, the founder of Strategic Coaching, which is an organization that helps coach entrepreneurs. He's, uh, he's been in business, or he's been doing this since, I believe, the late 70s. So he's got some report behind him, uh, over 40 years of doing this. And he does it really well. And the way that he does it and the way that I basically what you do is in business, as you listen to certain thought leaders, the cost of doing business is following the source of the information. So sometimes an asset in uh, a normal business could be finding a really good service provider or producer of a product. Let's say, for instance, you're in roofing. And uh, you find somebody that shells high quality shingles at a very reasonable price uh, that a lot of people don't know about. And they deliver on time every time. And it took you five years of going through different sources to find this guy. Now, there was a cost of doing business there. And um, in the online world, it's, it exists or just in business in general, it exists too if you're continually educating yourself, which... I hope you are, um, that I can't, I cannot overstate the importance of self-education and, and you continually to learn uh, how to better yourself. I, I, I'll typically look at an area that I'm really bad at and try to hire somebody to compensate for that area that I know knows what they're doing, uh, a coach of some sort. I've had some really great ones. I've, again, the cost of doing business, hired some uh, well-known coaches that uh, were a complete waste of money. And uh, so part of this is, you know, you learn over the years, you, you develop different strategies for marketing. And then as time goes on, you learn the source of those strategies. And so an asset for somebody in, in my field, and this is why it's really important to kind of listen to some of the suggestions that folks that have been in this for a while have because you can jump five years of trying to find the source and going directly to it through people that have been through it and they've paid the price to actually find the source. So with that said, Dan Sullivan is definitely a source of inspiration and coaching to some of the most successful people that I've known. And it's taken me years to find him, although I've heard him mentioned before. It's one thing to hear somebody mentioned. It's another thing to see the influence and impact on people that you respect and see it over and over and over again to where you uh, you circle back and you can accept the information with a new level of appreciation. And so that's that's been the case with Dan Sullivan. And today I'm just going to share with you one tip 
that I believe, if applied, will have a radical impact on your marriage, on your parenting, on your friendships, on your business relationships, on your uh, employee relationships and team relationships, and really every area of life. And it's really difficult to figure out how to apply this. I, I heard this just a couple days ago. And so I'm working really, really hard at trying to determine how to do this. But when I heard it, I knew it was a game changer. And so here's, here's what that is. Write down the day before a work day, three things that you know that you must accomplish tomorrow to be 100% done with your day. That's it. And what will happen is you and I are going to feel uh, uh, done and we will be able to, you know, one thing as an entrepreneur, I mean, my, my day, I'm behind and constantly trying to reshape my schedule and get through my list. And I know other team members are as well. And the problem with that is I will continue to do that over and over again with a pile of stuff that I never get through. So literally, unfortunately, what happens is every day when I wake up or virtually every day, and maybe, maybe this is you as well, um, I will wake up and I will have an immediate sense of guilt and um, not shame, but anxiety that I didn't get through all the things that I know our team needs me to get through. And a lot of things that they don't know that they need me to get through, but I need to get through. And so um, reducing this in a way that allows you the freedom first to feel the reduction of complexity, of the accomplishment of finishing a day, and the ability to prioritize the things that are most important to you rather than a continued list of items. And so this has multiple facets of, of uh, continued continuity in, the, in your growth patterns and in my growth patterns. And so it, it can have a dimensional impact on you and your life. And so um, write down three things that you need to do tomorrow that are most important. When those things are done, you have the right to walk away. You have, if they get done by noon, you're done. Now, there is a sense in which, you know, depending on the scenario you're in, you may not be able to be done by noon. I might, you know, um, but you'll know anything after that is, is just uh, extra credit. That you've accomplished the things that you had prepared to get done a hundred percent and so what that does again is it, it restructures the way that you think it restructures the way that you um, begin to process information because now you're you're living from an environment of accomplishment and peace of mind rather than constant anxiety and it's just a mental shift that's all it is that's all it's meant to do is to bring you a, a shift in the way that you comprehend your day so that you are more energized and able to magnetically attract the things that you need to attract. So that's my tip for today. It's again by Dan Sullivan. I'll be listening to more of his stuff and over the next few weeks, uh, I'll be bringing you more, uh, more information on Mondays that will help motivate you. So take care.